We use Tailwind for Boolean art because it is a pretty convenient way of writing CSS with fewer keystrokes. But as you may know, it's not a particularly type safe way to manage your styles and is prone to human error. So here are a few tricks that we use for Boolean art that not only give us the convenience of Tailwind class names, but also provide compile time type safety against human misspelling. To demonstrate, I've created a simple page in the app directory that renders out an example button. Now right now, this is a completely unstyled button. So if you were to look at it within the application, you can see that it looks pretty boring. So let's spice it up with some Tailwind. Now, as we know, in order to use Tailwind, all that we need is the class name prop and then pass in the Tailwind class names, which will be used to style this component. We align the text to be centered using text center, set the color of the text to be foreground, set up animations with transition all and a duration of 200 milliseconds, set up the padding along the X and the Y axis, provide a nice rounding for the corners, set up the default background as well as the background that we want to see when we hover over the button. And with these classes applied, a button turns into a much more acceptable version. However, this convenience does come at a slight cost. If you were to make any typing mistakes within the class name, for example, instead of rounded, we just type in round, we would get no error checking whatsoever. And at first glance, you might not even notice that your buttons are no longer being rounded. The reason why this fails is because Tailwind does not own the class name property and therefore it is hesitant to mark anything that it doesn't understand as a potential error. The fix to this issue is using CSS modules. So we create an example button.module.sass file within which we create a simple class called btn and then we bring in the Tailwind classes by using the Tailwind apply directive. Now Tailwind does own the apply directive, which means that any classes that we provide, Tailwind expects to understand them. And since it doesn't understand round, it is going to complain about it quite loudly. And we can see that when we jump to our application, it is no longer being rendered because round is not a class that Tailwind understands. And it's great that it highlights this error during development, but it will actually also cause the build to fail if we were to push this code by mistake. So with this change, we can no longer make a mistake typing in a class name that Tailwind doesn't understand. But what about making a mistake when we import the SAS module into our React component? So right now we are using this SAS module by importing it into our TypeScript file and providing the styles.btn as the class name for our button. And you can see within the application that the styles are being applied correctly. But what happens if we make a typo in the class name that we are importing? Unfortunately, we will not get any compile time error and if we jump to our application, the styles will disappear and you might be left scratching your head. What's worse is that it might even make its way all the way to production without anyone noticing. The solution to this problem is using a package called typed SCSS modules. Now this tip actually isn't specific to Tailwind and you can use this in any project that uses SAS. As a part of our development workflow, which is npm run dev, we also run npm run sas dev, which basically invokes typed SCSS modules. What it does is that it creates a definition file for every sas file that we create. So right now within our sas file, we have a single class called btn. So within the type definition for the sas file, you can see the class name has been declared. So when we import this sas file, TypeScript will pick up the type definition for it and anything that does not exist in the type definition will be highlighted as an error. Not only that, we will also get excellent autocomplete. So when we go to styles dot, we can see that the only option right now is btn. And with this simple change in place, you can see that our button is returned to its former glory. As always, thank you for joining me. Smash the like and subscribe for more tips and tricks and check out Boolean art for complete courses. And I will see you in the next one.